why now is actually probably the easiest thing to answer, and that is the end of the secular decline in interest rates. That 30-year decline in interest rates was a bull market for bonds as interest rates decline, bond values increase. So 30 years of that, we're at rates of zero, that's over. So for bond investors, it's probably time to do something different than what you did before. And one of those different things is alternatives. We're looking at two different things because you certainly have the bond market and its challenges there, but you've got a stock market that's enjoyed an amazing bull market now for well over four years. So we're well into this bull market. So on the bond side, we would look to, to find things that do well regardless of which direction interest rates are going. And we think the pressure is going to be up on rates. So look for things that can hedge a bond portfolio. You might look at a long, short portfolio or other alternatives that target a very low risk that's comparable to a bond uh, portfolio. And then the equity side, certainly the time is ripe for some sort of a correction at a minimum and something worse perhaps down the road. So hedging there as well. Long, short equity, uh, you can actually make money even though the markets may be moving sideways or correct. Just the ability to short uh, equities can add a lot of value and complement an equity portfolio. There, there's more and more, almost seems like every day, uh, there's a lot of new alternative funds uh, coming out. Uh, on the bond side, we're, we're, we are focused on long short credit. Um, so we'll use a firm like BlackRock and their global long short credit uh, to get exposure there. Uh, on the equity side, we might use something like a JP Morgan uh, long short equity fund or a market neutral fund. Um, again, more and more, there's a lot of uh, options out there uh, that we think can make a lot of sense.